Hi, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Heart of the Valley YMCA Science Y. Today we're going to design our own drop copters. Have you ever seen a helicopter hovering? What about those seed pods that seem to spin as they fall from their trees? These things interact with the air around them, and that's why they don't fall like we would expect them to. Just remember that air, even though it's invisible, it's matter, like it is stuff, just like everything else that's around us that we can see. We're gonna make two drop copters, one with regular printer paper and then one with cardstock. That's just kind of a thicker paper. And then you're gonna get a chance to compare the two and see which one spins better and floats slower. So let's get started. You'll need some drop copter design printouts. You should have three, a pack of crayons and two paper clips. Open up your kits and get those things out. First, you'll need your printed design. You actually have three of these. Two of them are made of printer paper, which is floppier, and then one is made of cardstock, and it's stiffer. You want one of the two floppy ones, one of the two that's made with just printer paper. The only reason you have two is in case you tear one of them, then you have a backup. Notice the dotted lines. Those are for folding. So go ahead and do that, and fold the drop copter on the dotted lines, like what you see me doing here. Notice that the two long kind of pieces of paper at the top, they need to be folded opposite each other. They're going to be the wings, that's why. In a helicopter though, we call the wings the rotary blades. Think rotary because it kind of sounds like rotate. Here, let me show that folding step one more time. Next, secure the bottom with a paper clip. Then color it. You have some crayons in your bag, so use those. Pay special attention to the rotary blades because as they spin, the colors will blur together in a way that's really pretty. If you haven't already done so, test your drop copter. Notice how fast or how slow it falls. Experiment with folding the wings more upward, then more downward, and see if that changes how fast the drop copter falls. Hint, I think it will. If you have a way to measure the drop time, like if you have a stopwatch, try that. Then you can compare the different measurements. After that, use the printout that's made with stiffer paper and fold it exactly as you did with the first one. What effect do you think that the thicker, heavier paper will have on your drop copter? Compare these two. Which one falls slower? Test them side by side and see which one lands last. Be sure that they both have their rotary blades starting at similar angles though, because you probably noticed in your earlier tests that that can make a big difference. Also try things like changing the weight at the bottom of the drop copter. Maybe put both paper clips on one of the drop copters and see if that slows the drop time or if it makes it fall faster. Experiment to get the slowest drop times that you can. And that's it for this video, but there's more. Check out our website at scienceY.org or email us at scienceY at ymcahuntsville.org.